Hello and welcome to Left, Right and Center this Friday evening. Pawan Bansal is sacked, but will more heads now roll? Will action against Law Minister Ashwini Kumar be next? Well, news of Pawan Kumar Bansal's sacking comes after Sonia Gandhi meets the Prime Minister. There are a lot of questions being asked. Has it been party versus government? Two ministers close to the Prime Minister now under attack. But we, are we also seeing a churn within the Congress? Well, Railway Minister Pawan Bansal, the first congressman to hold the key portfolio in 17 years, now sacked. But Pawan Bansal going six days after allegations of corruption first surfaced. Six days which have seen a government increasingly cornered over not just him, but two ministers. While Bansal has been sacked, Ashwini Kumar could be shifted to another ministry. An incensed opposition says the Prime Minister is accountable and he must apologize. Today's development reinforces BJP demand that even the PM must resign. You, you allowed a blocker in the parliament when we were seeking out accountability. But two days after the parliament getting signed I, you are taking his resignation. Is it fair? Therefore, the Prime Minister's resignation demand gets added justification. While I insist that there must be thorough probe, thorough probe, investigation, the CBI must act impartially and objectively. At the same time, the law minister cannot continue to be in office the, after the Supreme Court's scathing observations. The law minister cannot continue. His position has become extremely untenable. Well, our reporters join us with every aspect of that story. Rahul Srivastav joining us from the capital. Siddharth Pandey, in fact, is outside uh, the railway minister's residence as we speak. Tonima uh, joins us from Chandigarh. Of course, there have been uh, investigative links that have led uh, the CBI to Chandigarh as well. We'll be uh, exploring all those aspects. But Rahul, to you first, um, this was clearly, if it's being called a resignation, it was a resignation under pressure, in effect, uh, a sacking. Um, but it's been six days in the coming six days in which the government has been increasingly cornered yes Ankita the government is looking uh, if you see the meeting between the Prime Minister and the Congress President UPA chairperson Sonia Gandhi we can say that mr. Ahmed Patel the the advisor political advisor to Sonia Gandhi has also come to seven RCR what one can say is in this meeting a larger broad picture macro picture of what to be done now and what's to be done tomorrow uh, is being looked at by the Congress party the crisis for the Congress was that right in the middle of a, of a crucial budget session, which the Congress hoped was going to be a takeoff stage for the Congress party, uh, compared to the kind of reversal the Congress party had witnessed over the last uh, few years now. Because not only was it on the verge of winning a state like Karnataka, but uh, also was on the verge of passing landmark judge, uh, legislations like the Food Security Bill and the Land Acquisition Bill, and also the, uh, the direct uh, benefit transfers issue was to be legislated. At this juncture, the, the two cases of these two ministers, Mr. Ashwani Kumar's case of impropriety and also the uh, charges against Mr. Pawan Bansal that his relatives were indulging in financial uh, misappropriations. This crisis actually has uh, been a major setback for the government. So not only the government has to correct the present picture for present, but also for the future, because it creates a, uh, the sense of disarray which the opposition has been charges. Not only it has to correct that picture, but also has to ensure that when it acts against um, uh, one of the ministers or two other ministers, it does not empower the opposition or the enemy. It should not become a win for the BJP or the left or the others. In this scenario, the government is looking at the wider picture. The wider picture is that the charges against Mr. Pawan Bansal are serious. Not only they are serious, but also are politically potent. Politically potent because there is nobody in the armed army who does not know about railways, who does not know about jobs and does not know about bribes. No, but Rahul, that's an in interesting distinction you're making. And, um, you know, both within the Prime Minister's office and the Congress, is there now a view that if you take action against uh, uh, Ashwini Kumar, then it's another matter entirely. Then uh, in, in that case, you leave a flank open that perhaps leaves even the Prime Minister exposed. 
Yes, Ankita, the crisis is that these, the charges against Mr. Bansal cut ice as, well as, the, as far as the armed army or the armed voter is concerned. Mr. Ashwini Kumar's uh, crime or allegations against him are largely of financial, uh, not financial misappropriation, but impropriety. It is supposed to be more cerebral issue, uh, uh, prevalent uh, and will be, which is being discussed in Delhi or in the urban areas. And also the point that the Prime Minister perhaps is backing. And if you look at the two cases, if we are talking about Mr. Pawan Bansal is, being, uh, is likely to uh, quit office first, not Ashwin Kumar, the Prime Minister is dictating the terms. Dictating the terms in terms that he is also trying to say is that in case Mr. Ashwin Kumar is acted against, it opens the flanks against Mr. Dr. Manmohan Singh also. Because such is the case of the Colgate, uh, Colgate report by the CBI in the Supreme Court that if any one of the components is touched, that is the Attorney General or the Joint Secretaries in the Ministries or the, the law minister, then the prime minister gets exposed. And that is why perhaps there is a kind of a protection being given by these people to the prime minister. The opposition will attack the prime minister then. And that is why there is a distinction between the two cases. Uh, I have spoken to a senior minister just now who is saying right now to saying that the picture is going to get clearer in a day or two. But yes, serious thought is being given on one, the timing of the resignations, on what is going to happen next both vis-a-vis -vis Mr. Bansal and Mr. Ashwini Kumar and the modalities and the future impact because the Congress already has started looking at 2014. So you're saying because this is particularly politically sensitive given that uh, everything is now geared towards elections 2014? Yes, Ankita. The government is very clear that everything is now geared towards 2014 because what they are also looking at, the possibility, is that DMK is gone, TMC is gone, the government's numbers even if they are safer with Samajwadi Party and BSP in Lok Sabha, they are really bad in the Rajya Sabha. The government's legislative powers diminished in the, uh, in the budget session of parliament. By July, the government is apprehensive that Mulayam Singh Yadav may not like to hang on to the kurta tails of the Congress party. He may be itching to do something to distance himself away before the elections from the Congress party to send the signal that he does not want the anti-incumbency of the Congress party in UP. And that is why the Congress is looking at July as a session in which not much may happen. That is why there is already a talk in the Congress floating. It's not serious, but it, there is already a proposal. Why not hold the delay the monsoon session till August, in August? That is, hold it one day after the 15th of August. Make announcements from the Red Fort, go to Parliament, let the opposition disrupt and say that it is the opposition which is debilitating the government and the okay. Indian Parliament and perhaps go to the public. So a lot of these proposals indicate that whatever actions from now on the government takes will be aimed at 2014. Image correction, remove the sense of disarray, bring in maybe some more people into the organizational fold. So we can say that some kind of an organizational as far government as image changes correction goes, to actually cloak the removal of the two ministers. Okay, fair point Rahul, but as far as image correction goes, ha are these six days that it's taken for Pawan Kumar Bansal to resign or be sacked, um, are these six days going to be seen as an inordinate delay that's hurt the image uh, of the government perhaps irreparably? Ankita, the delay was, had two reasons. One reason was that the parliament session was on. And uh, I, I have been told by very senior Congress sources that the Ashok Chavan case uh, of the Chief Minister of Maharashtra after the other scam has become the benchmark case for the Congress party. At that time, a jittery Congress party with Anna Hazare flexing his muscle, the BJP on the rampage, had acted in a jittery manner, in a knee-jerk manner, and Ashok Chavan was removed. The Congress didn't get much out of the removal. It also didn't... All right, let me just interrupt you there much. for a moment. We're getting a BJP reaction at this point. Um, spokesperson Shanawaz Hussain speaking. Let's listen in. ...ki dono mantri ka istafa karayye aur sansad satr chalayye. Lekin, jab aaj das tarikh hai, sansad aaj tak thi, do din pahle hi sansad ka pat band karke Congress ke log चले गए साईं ने डाई कर दिया और उनको यह लगा कि संसद का सत्र समाप्त हो जाएगा तो शायद कांग्रेस को कुछ राहत मिल जाएगी लेकिन भारतीय जनता पार्टी संसद में भी लड़ी और सड़क पर भी लड़ेगी कल भारतीय जनता पार्टी के राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष श्री राजनाथ सिंह सड़क पर लड़ाई का ऐलान करेंगे भारतीय जनता पार्टी खामोश बैठने वाली नहीं हम 
संख्या बल में कम है इसलिए विपक्ष में और वो संख्या बल में ज्यादा है इसलिए सत्ता में और आज तो संख्या बल का भी सवाल है कि कांग्रेस के पास जो लोग उनको समर्थन दे रहे हैं वो भी संसद में वेल में आकर कांग्रेस के खिलाफ नारे लगा रहे थे तब जहां संसद न चलने की जिम्मेदारी तय होनी थी तो इन मंत्रियों का जो इस्तीफा आज होने वाला है अगर ये पहले हो गया होता तो संसद का समय बर्बाद न होता भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने पहले ही कहा था कि जिन मंत्रियों पर इल्जाम है कि एक मंत्री ने कानून मंत्री रहते हुए सीबीआई को जो की रिपोर्ट थी उसमें फेर बदल की और वो सच सामने आ गया कांग्रेस सच का सामना नहीं करना चाहती लेकिन सुप्रीम कोर्ट से जिस तरह से फटकार मिली है कांग्रेस को सीबीआई को आजाद करने के लिए जिस तरह से सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने कहा All right the BJP then capitalizing on uh, Pawan Bansal's uh, exit saying that perhaps if this had come just a few days earlier then uh, parliament would not have had to be called off early uh, as it was in the end uh, let me at this point also bring in all my panelists joining me this evening uh, Krishna Prasad Kumar Ketkar senior journalist Kiran Bedi also here in the studio with me joining us from the Congress Sanjay Jha from the BJP Meenakshi Lekhi uh, we're also going to be joined by Chetan Bhagat very soon but uh, Sanjay Sanjay Jha, let me just begin with you. Um, how do you respond to what we are hearing? The BJP just say, um, you know, that perhaps this particular session of Parliament could have been salvaged had this decision come uh, just a little earlier. Oh, well, it's amusing because the double standards of BJP just takes on a new dimension and complexion every day. This is the same party that stuck on to Yadu Rappa until he was finally indicted by the Loka Yukta. This is the same party that used an internal gentleman by the name of Guru Murthy to give a clean sheet to Mr. Nitin Gadkari. Let's not even talk about uh, you know Mr. Bangaru Lakshman etc. So where morality etc. is concerned, it's a joke. I think Mr. Shanawaz Hussain was trying a very very clever trick on the nation. If you noticed Ankita, he was trying to say that the entire responsibility for the parliament disruption, which we all know, was the responsibility of the Bharatiya Janata Party principally. He's trying to shift it to the Congress. Let's, let, 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 let's, let's just focus on no, the question no, that we raised. Uh, the party yeah. high command, it was evident in the last few days, had sent a very yes. clear message. Why did it take so long for the government then to act on Pawan Kumar Bansa? Well, let me tell you, Ankita, very clearly, Mr. Bansal has resigned. But he is yet to be interrogated by the CBI. He's not been convicted. There's no charge sheet. There's no prosecution. What did the Congress say from the very beginning? The Congress party said so in a very categorical manner that the process of investigation of the CBI must be respected. As we all know, post the Supreme Court observation as well, that the government does not want to intervene in that at all. Now, if the investigations are on, how can the government preempt or in the Congress party preempt what the end conclusions are going to be? By the way, the Bharatiya Janata Party's principal alliance members said the same thing. You should check what Sharad Yadav of the JDU said. He said that, listen, just because a relative is involved, it doesn't make the, the railway minister culpable. And that's the fair way of the way of justice system in this country runs. Now, the BJP cannot say that, you know, these people should resign. To, to flip and then that around, are you saying that Pawan, Pawan Bansal's exit now part. means that the Congress does in fact believe that he was directly implicated in corruption and that he had to go? Not at all. In fact, all that the Congress has maintained even to this day is that, you know, the process of investigation at this point is on. He's not guilty as we talk. There is a lot of talk about the fact that there were certain misdemeanors in the ministry. Let that be established. Let there be a direct evidence involving him, at which point the law will take its own course. I don't think the party at that point or even today is going to intervene. And the second point, even where Mr. Ashwini Kumar's issues are concerned, please let us not link that to the Congress party. The suggestion by the Supreme Court, as we infer it, is about an institutional correction that needs to be brought about 
about to give the CBI functional autonomy. And let me put this point in the debate right now before there is any misleading propaganda. The Vinit Narayan case, uh, Ankita, we all know, came up in 1997. And for the subsequent six years, you had the BJP NDA government in power that did nothing, and I repeat, nothing to try and give CBI functional autonomy during the time when they were in power.